Alright, this question is fear 20 swap. So you are giving to a red. One is Alice, the other one is Bob. And then I'm gonna summarize this question. So you will need to swap one element from Alice to the Bob and also Bob to Alice. And and both of the sum should be equal at, at the end, right? So uh this is pretty much a math question. So I'm gonna say sum of Alice. And then you need to swap an uh, element, right? So you need to subtract 5x plus the element you need to swap from Bob y is equal to the sum of Bob exactly the same thing minus y. You need to this is represent y, this represent x, and then and then this is plus x, right? So uh, once again, like you, if you do the math, right? So uh, let me just quickly go over here. So it's going to be what? 2y minus 2x equal to sb minus sa and just a little bit math just a little bit right over 2 right and then at the end this is going to be y, uh, x plus sb minus sa over 2 right so y equal to x plus sb minus S, uh, sa over 2 sb represents sum of the bulb uh, array and sa represents the sum of s array right so uh, this is a pure math for sure, and then uh, what is given? The given is a a x and y, right? The element you need to swap uh, in the Alice array, uh, element you need to swap in the Bob array. Y is, y is Bob, right? X is Alice. And then SP is sum of the Bob array, SA is the sum of Alice array, before they swap, right? And then you use this idea, right? You can do, uh, you can just find out the answer, right? And this is going to be what? This is going to be um, uh, for SP minus SA, it's going to be an even number for sure, right? Uh, all those why that they are not going to uh, they, they are not going to give you all number uh, because if one over two and then you give what you give zero and this this is not working, right? When you swap, this is not working. So uh, just not worry about the all number when this turns to the all number, right? I mean, this def definitely don't turn even number, but I mean, SP, SP minus SA. So, uh, okay, so let's talk about the solution, right? So you, so you use this equation uh, to find out which candy you need to swap, right? And then uh, what you need to do is you need to calculate the sum of Alice, you need to calculate the sum of Bob first, and then storing the delta. So I'm going to turn this into the delta, right? And I'm going to traverse uh, the Alice ar array again but beforehand I need to know what what are the elements in the Bob array so when I traverse so when I traverse the Alice array right I can actually know which candy which candy this is this is Alice candy and then this is Delta which candy they can swap uh, for the Bob right so uh, this is gonna be pretty much it right so it's kind of like uh, easy but also a little bit like uh, thinking that, right so basically uh, candy and then Alice array so sum a plus equal candy and then I'm gonna copy paste but uh, make sure you change the element and also you need a set equal to a new hashtag Set the app candy. All right. So um, you also need what? Um, you also need to traverse again the Alice candy. All right. So if the setup contains, and also I forgot the delta, right? Sorry. So sum b minus sum a. And then everything divided by, by two, and then so uh, what do you need to contain? The x plus the delta, right? So if you find it, which means you can definitely swap, and then the sum are going to be equal. So you need to re return a candy, right? So it's going to be new int, and it's going to be candy, and then candy plus delta. All right, so uh, if you cannot find it, it's going to be returned. No. All right, so I'm not 
sure I made a typo or not, but it looks like it's pretty good. Alright, so let's talk about the time and space. This is space, space, and space, right? So this is going to be what? All of B, Bob, right? The element inside the Bob, right? The unique element inside the Bob. So all of B for the space, this is going to be time. All of A, this is all of B, this is all of A, right? So it's going to be maximum between the address or Bob array. So uh, the time and space are pretty straightforward, so I don't need to use a debug mode to actually guide you through what happened. But uh, just a little bit thinking is required. So uh, if you have any question, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you want. Alright, peace out.